For many, Thailand is the epitome of the perfect holiday destination, sparkling blue seas, tropical islands, long, golden beaches, wonderful mountain scenery, and delightful, friendly people. As in many places, much of what is enjoyable here is a direct result of the underlying geology. The rugged limestone cliffs of Krabi are actually one of its most popular attractions, drawing thousands of rock climbing enthusiasts every year. Yep, not only do they serve as a formidable backdrop for any vacation snaps you want to take, but they're also a major pull card for adventure seeking folks with the harness and the ropes in tow. Ever since tourists started trying to climb the cliffs of Krabi way back in the 1980s, over 1,000 different climbing routes have been laid out in the cliffs. The most famous are certainly spread between the twin towns of Riley and Tunsai. They include the Tyrolean Wall and Tantrum, a 8A plus rated climb that takes you above the backpacker food shacks to a soaring lookout on high. But that famous climbing town isn't the end of it. You can plan expeditions to scale oodles of different parts of the region's coastline and inland, including the peaks of Happy Island and the walls of Sprit Mountain to the north, and the boulders of Cow in Kansas. Just always be sure to check the level of each climb before you begin and test loan equipment thoroughly. Krabi Town is one of the main ferry hubs for what's arguably the most famous cutout of the Andaman region. Boats from your head west to Koh Phi Phi and south to Koh Lanta, spanning the whole of Fang Na Bay and the isles around Koh Yaoi, even connecting all the way out to Phuket on the far side. The upshot? It's a major hub for island hopping tours. Some island hopping tours only take a day, sailing you around to a number of the smaller islands in Krabi where you can spend a few hours at each, soak up the sun, dip your toes in the ocean, and maybe sample some of the delicious local cuisine. You can usually book those direct from your hotel or online before you go. However, we think the region deserves a bit more time and attention than that. There are alluring islets that you can spend weeks on end exploring before hopping onto the next. Here's a look at just a few that could be unforgettable additions to your Krabi Island hops. This region is primed for travelers who want to hop from place to place. The ferry connections are efficient, fast, and cheap, and there are more amazing destinations on the menu than you can shake your tom yum soup at. Krabi is actually at the heart of one of the most beach-heavy parts of Thailand. You're never more than a short drive or longboat trip from a stretch of sand that is guaranteed to have you sighing in disbelief. We're talking proper travel ad fodder, gleaming dashes of cotton-hued powder, lapping waves of azure blue, and rugged limestone cliffs topped by tufts of jungles. The closest beach to the town itself is famous Ao Nam. It's now a built-up resort but is a doozy for families who want hotels overlooking the coast and a shallow swimming spot that's great for the little ones. For something more remote, you can hop in a boat and scour the coast south of that to the Riley Beach headland. It's a climber's haven, with soaring cliffs that lurch above a pristine run of daffodil sand that's home to cool bungalow resorts. Krabi is also considered the gateway to the Isles of the Andaman Coast. We'll talk more about the individual islands you can reach a little later but suffice to say the whole region is riddled with beaches that will blow your mind, from the legendary coves of the Phi Phi's to the long runs that dash through Koh Phu and Koh Lanta. It's not all white sand beaches and teal-tinged Andaman waters in Krabi, you know. The town is hemmed in by some seriously wild swathes of central Thai jungle, too. Much of it is even encompassed by national parks like the lush lands of the Nbak Karani to the north or the island reserves of the Phi Phi across the strait. That means that hiking is never too far away. Some of the trails are super close to Krabi Town. Take the route that connects from the port in East Riley up to the backpacker hub of Tun Sai. There are actually two paths for that, one a tidal dependent coast route between huge limestone stacks, the other a romp through thick bamboo thickets inhabited with jungles. When the Andaman Sea clears and calms in the high season months between November and May, Krabi, just like Phuket and the Gulf Islands before it, transforms into a bit of a mecca for divers. The great thing about the town is that it offers easy boat access to umpteen world-class dive sites, including wade-in diving and snorkeling over in the town of Aonan. 
Talking of AO Nan, that's usually better for complete beginners looking for their first taste of the underwater world. The resort is fronted by a couple of rocks that make for great practicing. From there, you can venture onto Kokai, Chicken Island, and Kopoda. They have some simply sites with coral reefs and pipefish. If all you want to explore is Krabi Town, then three days are ample. However, remember that the real reason this part of the Land of Smiles is so famous is because of the gorgeous shoreline and islands that exist nearby, from chilled Kojum to dramatic Fai Fai. They could keep you busy for weeks on end. Krabi is a great place to visit with families. We'd recommend steering clear of the main town of Krabi itself, that's a bit backpackery, and dodging the resort of Aonang, that's a bit lively. Nearby islands like Koh Jum and Koh Lanta are fantastic options, though. Krabi is just about perfect honeymoon territory. You can make of it what you will. Accessible Lux hotels are within 40 minutes transfer of the airport in Ao Nang, or travel further afield to find remote stays on deserted beaches in Fang Na Bay and beyond.